Hello and welcome to the channel. I just made this terrarium rack and if you're curious how I build it, then you should check out this video. Um, I'm having two days off and I thought to myself those two days I'm really gonna relax But then the existential uh, dread set in and I was low. No, I need to be productive So today I'm gonna build some racks, but before I'm gonna do that. I need to move some stuff So can I lift this? <laughs> Um, everything is standing ready. We're gonna build some racks again. Uh, I had planned this for uh, at least another month or two. I, I just wanted to be done for a while, but somehow I just can't sit still. I just need to do this stuff. And I really hope this room is gonna be in the final stages because I've been changing around so much and driving myself crazy. Anyway, we're gonna build some terrarium stands. We have done this a lot of times before. I actually deleted some of those videos because I wasn't too happy about the quality. But uh, we're gonna build some stands today and I'm gonna take you along. Now, what I normally do is I have these shelvings and I get the stands and I just attach them to the sides with some screws. Look, like this. I just have the standing part and then the shelf attached to it with some screws from the inside and from the out, one, two, three. But all this stuff is moving. I'm moving a lot around and somehow, for setups like this, I don't think that's secure enough. So I needed to figure out a way how I, let's see if I can put you over here, yeah, yeah. How I was able to secure the shelving on which the terrariums will be on better or even more. And I was looking around on YouTube also for some videos on how to build a terrarium stands. Uh, of course, I found a lot of stuff about that. But those really are really bulky stands and they take up a lot of room. And also those are built for to put one aquarium on top. While I want to have several aquariums in a rack. But then I found a video from Joey Mullen, the king of DIY. I'm sure you know this video, of at least his channel. And he built an actual rack, uh, this video here. I believe it's here. Yeah. Um, Go check it out if you want some more information. So most of the stuff I'm doing today you will also see in that video. I really like the way he did it. So I'm going to take you along while I'm doing it. And of course take you along in the progress and talk a bit about why I do stuff. So I already built the shelving because uh, I don't want to do too much pre-drilling here. So I pre-drilled. Pre-drilled. Oh, except for here apparently. All of the holes, I put them on over here. And as you can see, Normally, I have this beam, I don't know, but flush with this one. But this time, there's some space here. And the reason I did that is because when I get uh, the, the standing part, which I normally attach like this, I'm gonna attach like this. So now, the shelf can be attached from this side and from this side, so two screws here and one or two screws here, and what I'm going to do then is having some extra secure parts over here. So it's going to be look a little a bit like this, and uh, this from the front. And the reason is that the shelf is not only hanging on my screws but it's also leaning on this extra support beams. So these are actually gonna carry 
the weight of all the setups and not just the screws. So that way I improve the amount of kilos my shelving can take greatly. It will be much more secure and also having the standing parts not like this but like this will prevent a bit more moving around. So I think that will work. I hope it will work. I think it will, but we're gonna see. So this is the first time I'm gonna build a shelf like this. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, I like to pre-drill the wood before I put my screws in, especially close to the edge because I don't want it to start tearing apart. I want this to be solid and secure before any terrariums will drop down, <laughs> of course. So that's why I'm gonna pre-drill and apparently I forgot some. So that's what I'm going to do first. This pre-drilling also makes it a whole lot easier to put everything together. Now the stands are going to be 210 centimeters high. Uh, the shelves are going to be 120 times 60. So that's going to be the floor space of the setups. The wooden beams itself for these terrariums and for the amount of kilos that's going to be on here because it's going to be a maximum of about 200 kilos. These are 56 times 33 millimeters. But for the bigger setups, the heavier setups for my uh, turtle uh, aquariums, that's going to be a whole lot heavier. Of course, we're going to use thicker beams. But for this, I think this will work. Okay, um, bracing is in now. As you can see, um, this will secure the setups even more. Also give a bit more sturdiness to the uh, top. The top isn't uh, braced because there's gonna be a complete shelf on here so I can put stuff on there. And what's really important to think about when you're gonna put these braces in is that they are at least flush with the beam that's gonna carry your setup or aquarium or maybe half a mil, a mil lower to prevent any parts sticking out poking into your glass because if you have a sheet of glass like this one is going to be 120 times 60 and there's all this weight on top of there for your decoration or your water or whatever and there's this small thing poking in that glass and the glass is like bending over it on the long term stuff can happen especially if you move around with some certain items so really think about that, make sure this is flush. Super pleased with the result, let's get on with the other one. screws and wood now so let's just take a quick overview of what we have done now let me start by saying I'm super happy with the result so glad it took me about four hours in total with all the preparations moving all the stuff around in the room and of course uh, filming in the camera angle so I don't think that's too bad now what we've done, we've built two racks for setups that are 120 centimeters long or two of 60 centimeters. So now I can finally put in some setups of the trimutosures and start decorating them and put all the plants in. Now what we have done compared to the other racks I've built, normally I build a shelf that was just attached with some screws from here and then all the weight was leaning on those screws. And I, it works, but 
on the long term it's probably not the safest and also these setups are 120 centimeters long the beams are 56 times 33 millimeters wide if you want to do the same type of rack for aquariums or heavy terrariums that are bigger or longer I'm, I'm not sure if you should use this system but at least go for no wider and broader beams to make it even more secure now all the setups are now not leaning only on the screws but as you can see the shelving is attached on this inner beam with the screws over here and here but also the, all the shelves are leaning on these supports so this shelf is leaning on this and you can see here the setup will be will push on top of this support here it will push on top of this support and all the way over here and now all the force all the weight is being pushed in the ground and not hanging on these screws so this is a lot more secure now the setups that are going to be in here for instance here is going to be a 60 centimeter setup but the space in between the shelves is going to be 70 centimeters and the reason is is because i want to keep plenty of space for light because i don't have any lights in the setups but also to make sure that if there's a 40 centimeter setup in here 50 centimeter space that way there's plenty of airflow around and above the setup and the reason i want to do that is not only will it be better for my animals you know have a better um, airflow better ventilation but also to prevent heat stacking up too much so this way with the amount of space between my setup and the setup above there so there's a terrarium here a terrarium above there then there's plenty of space to take away some of the heat from the terrarium itself and all the lights of course the t5s and the led bars etc so that's the reason there's going to be plenty of space and what's pretty hard for me to do because i want to set up the the the, the, the rack as efficient as possible uh, because then you can get a bit bigger setups or maybe an extra setup for an extra animal but i really try to prevent that and just go with this because this is optimal i wanted to build these racks and i want to be done building racks so i just wanted these racks to be what i'm really looking for and all the things i've learned from all the previous racks and all the stuff i've done i wanted to incorporate that in here so that's the reason i've set up it this way there's probably going to be a small one over here with two high setups. Uh, of course, I'm already thinking about what's going to happen, but I'm very happy with this. So what we're going to do now is put a shelf on, but it's not going to be today because I'm really done with building stuff today. And uh, then we're going to put the setups in, but that's for later. So I hope you enjoyed, so, got some tips, and this was all I wanted to show you. So I think we are done with this video right about now.